continue for now. Mm. So I'll be praying throughout the day. So I'm gonna go with this or that one. I'll be praying. I'll be praying. That's the bad one. So yeah, fasting I'm still doing. I haven't actually been using specific devotions though. Yeah. My um morning devotional has been the verse of the day and they've become more specific with those devotions. It's not just um, like the verse, it used to just be the verse, which is why I felt like I needed three um, three prayer times in the day and also why I felt like I needed a specific devotion. <laughs> doing the most. I'm not even gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's all on camera so you can't even hide. You said I'm trying to hide. No, you're trying to be seen. Go ahead. <sighs> Are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm comfortable. Are you? Yes. Okay, um... Let me see. That one's done. And you're going... Oh yeah, you've been faster. Mm-hmm. So as you've seen, we like to have our end of year meeting to discuss goals. Now, I don't believe in end of year resolutions per se, but that's a topic for another day. I'm pretty sure last time we had planned to have meetings monthly, but we couldn't keep on top of that. So we're going to try that again in the new year um, because obviously we're in December now. So we'll see how we get on for 2024. The aim is intentionality. So we're doing this so that we can have a better year. So we can have each month being better, basically. So like me saying no New Year's resolutions isn't a hard and fast rule. I just don't think you have to wait until the end of the year in order to be able to set those goals and basically monitor them. Let's be real. How many of you actually keep up with your New Year's resolutions after Jan, Feb? Because... From my understanding, especially those that are doing like their their fitness journeys, they'll start off really strong and that's the reason why I hate going to the gym in January because it's always full and by March, April times it'll go back to normal but you really have to suffer that first eight weeks of the year because everyone's saying they're gonna be fitter. Now I get it, like everyone eats and drinks more over Christmas. So the first two months of fitness, that is great nonetheless. But if you fall off in March and Feb, or sorry, March and April, it's not the end of the world. Even if you fall off in July, just go back to it. Like everyone will fall off a goal one way or another, but let's hold ourselves accountable to something. That's my main thing. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to discuss it, but it's done now. So my main thing is the best way for you to stay on top of a goal is to have an accountability partner. Set smaller goals in order for it to seem more achievable, but also have those regular meetings. When you're in the corporate world, you have those regular meetings in terms of projects, uh, in terms of like progression with the team, etc. So why are we treating our life any differently? At the end of the day, When we are trying to be serious about a goal, we have to be serious about how we approach the goal. So right here, you see us having our end of year meeting, most companies do. And what we intend to do in 2024 is keep up those monthly meetings. So even if we slip up for one month, it's not gonna be carried into the next month. If we're losing motivation, this is the session to remind us why we started in the first place. Some people may think that we're taking this too seriously, but if you're really trying to change your life, you have to be serious about the changes you're making. Now, when we're talking about goals, it's not just about our career goals. We're also talking about our finances, our plans for the future, our health. Now, health is a big one because at the end of the day, you can never get your time back. So the time that we have when we're young is the most important time to invest in the things that we need to do to keep us going for longer. From the Hamus Frills channel, my favorite hair treatment. Well, 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 all over that. I'm trying to get my Bruce Buffer on. So I will tag it. Yes. 
So it's currently on 11,000 views. Yes, 11,000. I saw that. 11,000 views. Imagine yeah. all of my videos were on 11,000 views. Hey, you ain't gonna be need to be imagining no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did it for real. Yeah. But also, just because you've written it down, that's your plan. Thank you very much. Mm, yeah. So we're not mad about what didn't happen mm. or upset that other things happened in, in that place. Mm. It's just a matter of knowing, okay, acknowledging this is what I have planned. Mm. It didn't happen. Why didn't it happen? Mm. Okay, what am I gonna do about it? Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Because there's been a lot of things that I wanted to do that I could have done years ago that I didn't do. Stop smiling. Not smiling. <laughs> I wasn't smiling, guys. You guys saw I wasn't smiling. <laughs> um, I even forgot what I was talking about. Let's just um, hmm. No, we were talking about... Um... You don't remember, it's okay. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, do you want to continue or should I continue? Um, September, 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 September. Oh, okay, so now there's other things where it's just random things. Mm -hmm. uh, buy something for my personal well being each month. Mm, I didn't do it each month, but it's like every. I buy stuff to make up for what I didn't get, if that makes sense. I mean, you're looking well to me, so. Yes. Coconut oil, oh. the tea tree oil, the flat. Oh, yeah. do you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think that covers any month that you that missed. That covers everything, trust me. Two PGDs every four months. Okay, let's go and record 10 songs by December 2023. Three per month. Well, I'm sure stuff's been recorded. As far as it's completed, I don't think so. For the sake of it, it says record. I think I've recorded 10 songs this year. Yeah? Yeah. And you said mainly collabs. I mean, you did a few collabs, I know that for sure. Yeah, with Jordan, always collabing. Um, he had. Um, Nah, did I What's his name? Why did you forget his name? Rose? No. No. Dizzy Goku. Dizzy Goku. Yeah. Do you know, I always want to put... Oh, that's definitely 10 songs recorded this year. Because I've done two or three with Dizzy. Is it? Yeah. I've only had one of them. Mm, sure. You know I was at that studio a lot. You were at the studio a lot. I'm just saying I personally have only had one of them. Okay. I don't know where the other mixes were. Some of them were only written though. So okay. we Oh, that means we were <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did do 10 songs.